Hi, I'm Todd. I'm with TW Home Show, and I'm here to show you today that uh, you don't have a smart home until you have these. Echo. That bedroom shades to 50%. Okay. Okay. Hi there, I'm back. Alright, those here are not the windows I'm going to be installing the roller shades on. Uh, this is my office and game room. Follow me out here and I'll take you through here toward this place just a little bit. There we have the front door and the kitchen, stairway, dining, and there are the three windows that I ordered the roller shades for. So we'll be hanging those up. I'm probably going to hang up one and show you on video tomorrow since we, we have more front light coming in and you won't be able to see the details but uh, we'll see how it goes stay tuned okay we're gonna hang the second blind now I had a couple little issues nothing much with the hanging of the first line uh, let me just show you what we got here and my issues were the measurements because the uh, window wasn't square and it was wider at the top corners. This one is exactly as I measured it and ordered the blinds. Uh, I'm going to pull these brackets in uh, probably on one side just a little bit more uh, just so that they're tight uh, on that roller shade. So you get the two brackets for each roller shade and two screws for one side and two screws for the other. And let's go ahead and mount these. Okay, so on my right side, I want the least amount of cracks uh, of the blind to show through. Uh, since this is up against the wall over here, uh, no couches or anything, uh, I might have the wider gap over on that side since uh, I want to move one side in a little bit closer so I got uh, good tension on that roller shade. So let's get started on this. Hang this bracket first. Now this one, since I'm not going right up against this in, inner uh, drywall, I'm going to bring it out so I have to screw in both screws to the top of the, this window sill. gets a good grip because it's right into the metal drywall corner beam. All right, we got our two brackets in. Basically, that's it as far as, you know, 
hanging the, the roller sheet. I mean, that's the, the most difficult part, is getting the brackets in. Now, here's your roller sheet. And they say don't unwrap them. Don't pull these bands, paper bands off until you have it up so it's easy to mount. And I just like to take this one end off. And that's so I can see where my power cord is going to be for my power supply and the antenna. And what I did on my last one, which I don't know if they'll be a little bit different, how they're rolled up from the factory, but I wanted that power cord and the antenna to be facing on the back side here. So that's how I'm going to do it on this one. Somewhat of a challenge if you don't have two people. This end has two clips. The other end is just a push pin. Just like your typical blind roller sheet. Sometimes you can do it by feel. And we got clipped in there. So next thing you do is pull the paper wrappers off. You tuck your antenna up there. And what we got here is our power lead. So they pack the power supplies in a little separate box. And it's your power brick plug. And they do it, it's pretty unique. They got these little micro USB uh, connectors for the power. Okay. I'm going to unravel this a bit. Oh, I forgot one other thing. They did include. One of these extensions for each roller shade so that you can run it down your, uh, your window on the side of the frame and then connect it to your power, power block down below once you get it there. So, let's see what we can do here. Plug it in. We've got the uh, notification light up there. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to smart things and then we'll give it a test. So hang in there. <clears throat> All right, I've got the zebra shades. These are the black blackout shades installed in the bedroom now We've got a bed over here and uh, in the evening time I'll have them by timer to go down different levels different hours of the evening 
so that it will block out the sunset because that right there is the west lake view <coughs> out of our windows in the mornings I hope to have it those shades uh, connected to the smart things hub <coughs> and then those shades will rise in the morning I'll have a preset to wake me up at a time that I desire change it up on the weekends different from the weekdays and it'll let some natural light in not direct sunlight because uh, of course it'll be uh, the Sun will be rising on the other side of the house and what I've done in here I'll let you see the mount uh, can't really see the mount I had to put uh, <coughs> Excuse me, some uh, door shims up there. It's hard to get the right measurement up there where you're going to hang. I measured the outside uh, corners. And of course, uh, when they float the mud into the window, it's a little bit narrower. Or uh, I should say wider. So the shades were just a little off, but uh, the door shims worked. And then I've got the cords here. And uh, what I'm going to do here, since I have the drapes, uh, blocking the cord. I'm just going to tack these up with some cord tacks and have them come down around the sill down at the bottom here. And then I've got them all three plugged into a power strip. So let's just see here. I've got one here uh, with a remote working. That's this one. So they're very smooth. They don't make a lot of sound. And I'm going to show you the other ones too. Compare. I'm going to show you how I did the cord tracking. I did cord tracking in my uh, in the lake room, entertainment room, and then painted the tracks. I also put a uh, a balance up there that I made myself. I'll show you that next. Okay, back here. These were the first set of blinds I've got, or uh, shades. These are not blackout shades. We just wanted to block some of the direct sunlight coming in in the evenings, but not lose all of our light in this room. And I'm going to hang some shades up there in the dining room as well. I've got those today also. And as you can see, the uh, I don't know with the lighting if you can tell, but I did make my own valances and I painted them the same color as the wall. They're made out of one by fours. And uh, like I was going to show you, the cord uh, tracking is right there. I painted it the same color as the wall. You can't see the cord coming down, and it comes down uh, at the bottom there. So, turned out really nice. And these, of course, I've got set and paired to my Smart Things Hub as well as my Amazon Echo. Let's see if it works with the Echo right now. Echo, set shades to 50%. Okay. Now it's not working. Hopefully you don't get blinded by the light here. And you can still see them. But they're all at 50% now. Okay, there was another uh, little snag I ran into, and that was uh, when I paired my uh, zebra blinds, uh, my shades, to my Smart Things hub. Uh, they paired all right, but say for instance, I'm going to show you this one, my uh, left bedroom shade here. If you log into your smart things hub go to left bedroom shade and 
right here, uh, the device type showed it was Z-Wave generic switch or Z-Wave switch generic. It didn't have dimmer. And how I went in to change that was very easy. I went down here to edit on this device and right here device type if you click that down drop arrow right there then you can modify your device type and uh, like I said mine was uh, just I think it was uh, Z-Wave switch generic that's what it was when I paired my zebra blinds and I just clicked here and changed it to Z-Wave dimmer switch generic and then hit your update button and there you have it so that was a simple fix for that hi I'm Todd I'm with TW Home Show and I'm here to show you today that uh, you don't have a smart home until you have these Echo set bedroom shade to 50 percent Okay. Echo, set bedroom shades to 25%. Okay. There you have it. That's your smart home. Echo, set shades to 75%. Okay. They're already at 75%. Let's try it again. Echo, set shades to 50%. Okay. Echo, set bedroom shades to 50%. Okay. Sorry. I have two commands. I was setting my uh, lake room to 50%. Those are called shades. These are called bedroom shades. So, I mean, once your smart home gets developed, you got to remember all the names if you're using Amazon Echo to work with those uh, items and devices. And uh, this is one instance where uh, you may forget or you may uh, have a lapse of memory like I did. But uh, let's try it again. Echo, set bedroom shades to 25%. Okay. Now that's a smart home, don't you think? Echo, turn off the bed. Okay. Echo, turn off the cabinets. Okay. Echo, turn on the bed. Echo, set shades to 50%. I'm sorry. Okay. Echo, set bedroom shades to 50%. Okay. Echo, turn on the cabinets. Okay. There you have it. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you a little bit more about these things and where to get them. That'll be in the description below. And I'm going to show you how to mount them, how my experience was in mounting them and setting them up. And if you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments below. And I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.